Yeah, Yo, you see me? Hey, what's up, brother? What's up, bro? How you doing? Let me see your office. <laughs> I got a new office. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the Metaverse <laughs> office? <laughs> Seriously, man, you don't. This is a pretty sick place, huh? Can't wait for you to be here, man. Dude, I got two. It's yeah, like bro, two, I can't wait to see it, man. Dude, two floors of this. I can use this. I mean, this is like huge. Look at this. this thing run back and forth. I love it, bro. <laughs> All right, man. It um, seems like that place gives you good luck too, bro, because you're killing the trading, especially fucking today. Well, <laughs> I made a point. I'm going to uh, talk about all that. Um, stick to the process, man, right? That, that's what it is. Be disciplined, stick to the process. So sometimes we are uh, – we, well, let, let, let you start because you know yeah. my story, man. It's going to be crazy, man. Yeah, Bao okay. has a – it's actually funny. So before, before you kind of talk about but but Bao has a funny story because – a member DM me about feng shui and I'm thinking to myself, okay, like it's someone trying to overcomplicate this stuff. <laughs> it's someone that doesn't, it's just confusing. And Bao tells me he has the craziest feng shui story and that's where today's Instagram live is coming from. So that's that. <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. But one thing, <laughs> one thing while I'm here, guys, is I want to remind you of our free webinar course that we have. This is for brand new traders, traders that are maybe curious about trading or want to learn about it. It's at myinvestingclub.co.co, not .com. It's a free webinar that teaches you the A to Z of day trading, and you get to see a live trade from me. This is for non-members. Members have access to this. This is if you are curious about trading or curious about MIC, we're going to educate you for an hour for free and then show you some live trades there. And then if you stay till the end, uh, you have the opportunity to get a very big discounted membership in MIC. So, hey, Alex, I, I, I've been getting... People have been asking about the Black Friday. I, I, I mean, you know I'm too, way too nice, so I wanted to give them some, an extra day today to sign up for that. How can they do that? Okay. I mean, the best way, guys, best way is just text Tosh. Text Tosh, 213-458-5997. Text them the word BOW, and then we'll make sure that we get you that last-minute discount because we did limited quantities for the giveaways. Now that the giveaway is over, you could, we'll try to give you a better price on the membership, you know? All right, guys, because that's what we were. We're extending it today. Text Tosh. Uh, what's that? Cyber Tuesday. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, text him, just text him and text him Instagram Live. Just let him know that you're coming from this Instagram Live so he knows what to expect. Yeah, let's do that because I want to give a, a little extension to people because they, they've been asking me. So, guys, yeah. it's not too late. Um, how much are we saving? 50%? Holy shit. 50%, right. bro. 50%. Yeah, guys. So, I uh, don't miss out. This uh we won't have an Excel to wall, so yep. do this yep. stuff. Anyway, right, good luck. Everyone get ready for the craziest Feng <laughs> Shui story you'll ever hear. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how you even started, man. Later, so, bro. Yeah, today, today's going to be a little special thing, guys. I'm not going to talk about trading much. Uh, we, we, we were running out of topics in actuality to talk about trading because yeah, we've been talking about trading for how many years? Not a decade, right? And every Tuesday I come on. Every Monday Alex comes on. Wednesday there's a webinar that we do. So we, we have talked the same thing about trading over and over and over again. The point was really boring. So, so one of the members texted Alex about feng shui. And uh, of course, Alex just doesn't know even how to spell or pronounce that word. So it's like feng shui or something, right? But um, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Chinese. So basically, it's a Chinese metaphysical superstition about religion, like yin and yang and all that. So, so the concept is each, there, there's a harmony and an energy around you. So how do you harvest that to make a metaphysical universe turn into reality, right? So an example would be, it's basically superstition, guys. But it's basically superstition based on uh, centuries, millennial centuries. Chinese is, Chinese is one of the very first civilizations out there, guys. So don't, don't, don't think that America, America is only a few hundred years old. China, China's been around forever. And you know what, man, some of these uh, uh, Western uh, medicine, there's holistical, there's all this. So who the hell knows, guys? But I'll tell you how you can use that to make money. And I'll tell you exactly. I'm, I'm going to summarize right now. In order to trade, guys, you have to be comfortable with yourself. And whatever edge that gives you comfortability to maintain discipline, call it luck, guys. It comes down to plain luck. How do you get the best luck? Because all these guys are saying, the reason I lose is because I'm unlucky. It's all about luck. They're trying to use this abstract energy called luck but you know what it is man it, whether i took this and uh, I, I, I was a philosophy minor actually in college guys i, I studied math 
philosophy and engineering. So I was a big time nerd, right? So, but it makes sense. It's like, it's like religion. Religion is feng shui. Religion, you can't explain it. It's metaphysical. And so religion, people praying, like how many times have you been down on a stock and you're praying the stock bounces? That's pretty much feng shui. But feng shui is active all around. I'll give you an example. So, so, so when I started trading, guys, I mean, I was one of the most superstitious guys because uh, I'm Asian. So Asians have a lot of superstitions. Uh, one of the superstitions, like, you know, walking under a ladder is bad luck for Americans, right? Or number 13 is bad luck. Those, those are superstitions. So when you trade, there's a, I started trading by, if you take a look at my numbers that I, I, I fill at, sevens, eights, those people ask, why are you using seven, eight? Is that like some sort of algo thing that I figured out? No, it's basically those are my lucky numbers. Eight is a lucky number, seven is a lucky number. So I started using seven and eight and I started making money. And I'm like, dude, holy shit, seven, eights work for me. You know, the difference between seven, eights, nines, fours, who the hell knows? Trading is not an exact science, guys. You know, you can try to make an exact science, but each time it's going to be different. So, so it's funny, but people ask me why I use seven and eight. And now the whole entire MIC room is seven and eight. But you don't understand that's the only reason I'm using that because it's good luck. You, you know, you choose your own good luck fucking number and it makes you feel good about the, 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 the fills that you do. But one crazy story I have feng shui is this. So there's a, something called Bagua, B-A-G-U-A, Bagua, B-A-U-G-A, B-A-G-U-A, Bagua map. Google that, Bagua map. I'm going to tell right now. So, so you have feng shui. There's a whole universe of this, guys. You can go down a big rabbit hole. But you know what, man? This, so I had crazy stories about this, man. So a Bagua map divides your room or your house into eight corners. So my trading office has eight, eight, eight corners, right? And so there's a corner for love. There's a corner for money. There's a corner for children, family, all that. So for me, when I was trading in New York City, I wanted to make a shit ton of money. So I found out where the corner of my office was that was associated with the money, prosperity. And what I did was I randomly taped a $100 bill I found in my wallet up into that corner. And I started trading. I started making money. And I'm like, dude, this shit may work. But the, the reason it works is it's mental, right, guys? It, who knows what it is? It, science cannot, cannot ever prove that that superstition, that religion, you cannot prove religion works. You don't, you cannot believe that, that if you pray to God, things work like that, right? It's all how you feel in your heart. And the reason you feel it, it transcribes into your day to day life. It makes you happier. Religion brings you happiness. So be it. Love brings you happiness. So be it. If, if owning this, if owning this art piece makes you happy and you think it's good luck, so be it. I've worn, I've worn the same pajamas for three freaking months of trading because I never had a green day in three months, three months. So that was my own good luck, right? So, but the crazy story about this thing, this feng shui was I, I, I found the corner where the, the money was. I paid a hundred dollar bill and I lived there for three years. After I, I, I made my first millions in that corner of the office. I stayed in the office and made millions of dollars. And then when I left, when I left, when I moved out of New York, I took that hundred dollar down and I looked at it and the serial number was a bunch of eights, a bunch of eights. Call it coincidence, call it fate, call it luck, call it superstition, religion, whatever you want to call it. But I was blown away. I made my first millions because of this feng shui thing. And it happened the hundred dollar bill I had when I had a bunch of eights in it as a serial number. What were the odds, right? And so Unfortunately, I lost that hundred dollar bill during the move. Somehow, I think I think I forgot to take it off because I put it back on. I think the mover stole it. So whoever that moved me from New York City might be a millionaire today because of that hundred dollar bill, right, guys? And so the the reason why it worked is it gave me an extra confidence. It it so it's like religion. Um, people use religion when things bad happen to you. You go to church, you pray for a better day, things like that, guys. And it gives you hope. And so all this does is give me hope. So that when the stock goes down, you know, people are praying to God. I'm looking at, I'm rubbing that hundred dollar bill, whatever it may be, right, guys. So, so whatever it takes in trading to make yourself comfortable, this is part of the meditation, a part about the the daily walk that Alex and I do to calm us down. And so, whatever it takes, guys. And if you need a religion, check out Feng Shui. Feng Shui also helps you with your house. 
So an example of the house, because I, when I moved to you know, back home to San Jose a long time ago, uh, I was having problems making money trading. I couldn't figure out what it is. So I had my whole house figure out feng shui. And like, hopefully that, you know, it, it basically gave me mental calmness. And so it, one of the feng shui things was the front door could not be enclosed. So the front door, my front entrance was all private. There was a big wall that someone had built artificially. It was not there, the house originally, all right? I was the second owner of the house. And they built a wall for privacy. So, so I, dude, I paid a lot of money and knocked down that wall. And ever since I knocked down that wall, I started making tons of money, knock on wood. And so whatever it may be, it helped me. So those are the feng shui things that you look up. It's a whole science behind this. You can spend a full lifetime behind this. You can hire people to do this. An example of feng shui is as well. The front door cannot align with the back door because the concept is money flows in. It should stay in the house. It should not flow from the front door to the back door and out of the house. So I've actually physically moved the back door, backyard entrance over. I paid a lot of money for this, but that investment made me so much more money trading because it calmed me down because every time I would lose before, like, dude, that's the fucking door. It's the door. It's the door. You know? And that's why I chose number seven and eight whenever I fail. And so just, just doing those things calm me down. Um, Traders are superstitious because they think they have bad luck. Every time I buy a stock, the offering comes out. Every time I hold a stock overnight, right, Alex? <laughs> the offering comes out. Bad luck, bad luck, right? And so we, we need to calm our nerves down. If we calm our nerves down, we will trade better. And that's all this is, guys. It may or may not work for you, but the fact that it calms you out mentally, it's huge. So I'll give another freaking example, man. I, so this is the first time any trader has ever talked about feng shui, guys. I hope this video goes viral because this is huge this is huge you have tr good luck alex has you know we knock on wood you know look up how the history of that is you know alex has a golden pig um every time i trade the first time i buy a laptop and I, if i lose money i throw that laptop i have four laptops i've thrown away never used before i try to sell that laptop to tosh once he didn't want it <laughs> i try to get rid of it and so i finally just gave it to someone to sell for dirt cheap and I, i'm sadly whoever bought that laptop i'm so sorry it's not my fault but those are the superstition. I bought, I, dude, once I bought a $7,000 laptop, I think seven to $10,000 laptop. It's the, the old IBM, it's straight from IBM. It, it was the very first multi-monitor laptop, which weighed a ton. I lost like 10, 20 grand that day on the first time I used that. I threw that shit away. It's still sitting in my vault somewhere. I never fucking even touched it. I was like, that was fucking a curse. Um, <laughs> yeah, I tried to touch with that percent off. <laughs> Sorry, touch. <laughs> but um, and so today I have. So I was looking. I this is a fucking true story that just happened. That's so weird. So I was looking for my car, my my car key. I'm I'm my car key is dead down in Orange County. I moved to uh, and I moved out. I moved out, and so my car, my car is still dead. Battery's dead. I could. I've been looking. Not jo not joking for a week. I tore the place out yesterday. I was so stressed out. I had headaches yesterday. I literally tore my place inside out for three, three fucking hours, four hours, the whole yesterday, every week. I called up all my friends. Have you seen my car key? They just laughed at me. What kind of car key? Ferrari key. <laughs> They're like fifth, right? Um, I even called my son. I'm like, daddy's drunk. Maybe, maybe, maybe you, you have a, maybe you had a, <laughs> my car key. And he's like, what the hell? I don't even drive. And I called my nine-year-old son. I'm looking for my car key, right, guys? And so, in forever i probably worn this jacket two three times this year only entire year i put this on today to do a feng shui because i looked out and it was very cloudy and i'm like it's cold i'm gonna put this on and i reach into my freaking pocket i'm like what the freak dude i found my car key i'm like holy shit i'm doing a, a bit on feng shui and superstition and luck, and I found the car key I've been looking for past weeks. I've, I've, I've been looking for this for weeks. I was about to call the dealership for them to make me a new key because I don't have another key, and the car's dead battery. I'm like, holy shit, I'm going to have to spend five grand. You know how expensive this stuff is, right? There's a chip inside all this stuff. And then, and like, oh, my God, Alex told me to do feng shui, and I looked outside. It was cold. I wore this jacket of all jackets. I must have 100 jackets in the house. And then reach in the pocket, and I found the key I was looking for, guys. This, this, this you can't make this up. This, this, this just kind of blown my mind. And 
you know, it all started when I took a few days off because um, you know, I went home uh, and we're helping members. I felt good today. Today, it just felt good, guys. I don't know what it is. Today, last night, I read, the, I read a post from Alex about, about feng shui, and Alex is just laughing. Keep it simple because he doesn't know what it is, right? Because who does, who does know? Not many people know, you know, unless you're really into, like, like, like Asian culture and stuff, right? And so I gave a whole... I wrote Alex's whole big thing on feng shui and how it helped me. And I was like, holy crap, you know, uh, let's do this IG live today. And dude, I found my freaking key. I've been looking forever. I was about to call the dealership yesterday. I was crying. I was like, I want my car back. I'm like, dude, I, just, I cannot believe I'm an, an idiot. I lost this freaking car key. And, and it's in this freaking pocket of this back I never wear. I never wear this, dude. Wow, guys, I, I, I'm just blown away. I tell Alex, my life is a story. It's more like a documentary for you guys to learn, guys. So, it does, so if you're struggling, guys, if you're struggling, join MIC, obviously. But maybe we'll talk about feng shui and MIC and help you get over the hump. Because you know what? We all need the luck we need. And if, if that is what it takes, this is why traders are very superstitious. They, they, when they have bad luck, when an offering comes, when they short – and then they, they, they top tick with the wrong side when they cover at the top. Or, you know what I'm saying? When you sell at the bottom and the moment you sell, it bounces up. You're like, it's such bad luck, such bad luck. And so, so whatever it takes to calm your brain down, guys. And so this is something that no other, no other, no other person trading has ever talked about. And so these are the things that have helped me. And I'm like, dude, I found my car key. Holy cow, today I was going to take off early to get my car back. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, guys. I, I, I did. So I told Alex, man, you know, you, you do well, you do good for others, and the universe rewards itself. So today, what I did was pre market, we woke up, we helped traders identify, as usual, in our watch list, what to short and what, chick, uh, what stocks are hot plays of the day. We call them the hot chick plays and to avoid. So longs to concentrate on the ones that are hot chick plays, uh, shorts. Um, Shorts to concentrate on the weak, broken stocks. So I was eight for eight today, guys. I missed five other stocks. Yeah, there's so many going on. And Alex knows I like to have my little hands and everything, do fancy orders. So there was a bunch of ones I missed, but the ones I made was eight for eight. It was just this most stress-free day, knock on wood. And Alex reminded me, don't be greedy, don't be greedy. So I shut it off after the first half hour. 10 a.m., I was done. And I spent the last hour and a half right now helping members. So I wrote a big commentary on each each stock. So the guys in MIC, you guys saw that? The, the, we, were the charts helpful, man? We we post, we don't post alerts, but we but we the moment I feel, I am the quickest guy to post my charts, guys. My I'm the quickest guy to post my trades. You know, um, I don't like people copying our positions because that's not way you learn. But you learn in real time class mode, and we we annotated the charts and all that stuff. So we we basically kicked ass today, helping the members. So I, today I was focused on. Uh, helping members more than being selfish and trying to scalp every single move for myself, right, guys? So, wow. And by doing good, the, the universe rewarded itself just because I talked about feng shui. Unbelievable. I would have never worn this jacket, guys. I went out today because Alex says, dude, get the hell out. Don't have open orders. And so I canceled all my orders to talk about feng shui. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, guys. Any questions? Any any freaking questions? Do you guys believe? Have you, okay, raise your hands. Have you heard of feng shui? Just type in yes, heard of feng shui, or no, and then we'll we, we'll talk about how it can help you because you know this has helped me tremendously, um, and I think it can help you. This is pretty much the the religion to help you calm your nerves. The religion to to basically it doesn't hurt, right, guys? It it will not hurt. If you don't believe it, you don't believe in it. But hey, I if you believe in God, if you believe in a religion, if you believe in the number 13 being unlucky, walking, uh, breaking the mirror, things like that, guys. Dude, we're gonna we're gonna feng shui you up, Alex. We're gonna we're gonna use we're gonna use this, Alex. I, I think you, I think Alex, you should get a feng shui consultant. There are people that actually go to your house and help. This is unbelievable. I think this is so worth it before the end of the year. 2021 comes guys you everybody should look into feng shui google on how to do this guys and when you're looking at houses man you need a good feng shui house so you know an example would be like they're different cultures they have different superstitions guys so um your superstition um 
so I'll give you an example, like T intersection is very bad for Asians. You should not have a T intersection and uh, your house should never be in a T intersection. But for other, other races, other ethnicities, other religions, that could be a good thing. Um, people like to live in a cul-de-sac, a court, because the money flows in and stays in there. The whole concept, it's flow, energy flow. And so how the energy flows around your office, how the energy flows around your house is I think my mate's here. <laughs> let me uh, let me let her in. But uh, any questions, guys? So there's a wealth, there's a love. I so I focus on love. I put a little little crystal something in that corner. So I mean, if your love life is going poorly, guys, if your love life is I needed to clean the place. <laughs> I got to this clean, so she came in. All right, guys, any questions? I want to keep this thing short and sweet. But feng shui, guys, maybe we'll start something up in MIC, guys. This is very good, Alex. I'm telling you, man, it does not hurt. This helps for every aspect of our life. Love, love, and all that. Doesn't work. Audio doesn't work. Does audio work now? Is it working? Is it working? Is audio working? Audio working? Is it working now? Okay, cool, cool. So we should do that, man. This is love. I for, totally forgot about this, Alex. Thank you for reminding me about feng shui. Because, you know, man, my love life has been pretty crappy <laughs> lately. So um, maybe maybe that'll help me and you. Uh, and it'll help us for our family. If you want a family situation, Alex, it'll help you as well. Because it, it helped me, man. I, you know, I found what I was looking for when I started to position my houses and moving certain things around. It doesn't, doesn't really harm. But you know what, man? If the energy is true, and everybody believes in energy, guys. You guys all are religious. Most of you guys are religious, not atheists, right? So you believe there's something out there, guys. And this is there's there's a, this is a metaphysical thing around us, an energy field, yin and yang, all that stuff, guys. It's it, you know what, man? It may or not be true, but I'd rather err on the side of caution. You know, I, I would take every luck I could possibly take in life because uh, some of us are lucky at making money, some of us are unlucky at love or family or health. It helps with health, all this stuff, guys. Whew. Any questions before we go on? So join MIC. Today is the last day to do the Black Friday, Cyber Sunday, uh, Cyber Tuesday now. Um, we're giving 50% off, guys. So text Tosh. Uh, and for the guys that are not in MIC, we have, we have a free webinar at myinvestingclub.co. .co. I think I lost a little weight this week, too, so that's good. <laughs> So I'm gonna start doing this feng shui, man. <laughs> We're gonna get a consultant out here and um, move furniture around, things like that, guys. So I used to have a money tree, guys. My money tree died. <laughs> so that's funny too. So um, you know, I, I'm superstitious. I, I need stuff like that. You know, it's anything that calms you down. This is pretty much your meditation, guys. And so, uh, hey, it worked for me. And so. Who knows? It could work for you guys. So I'll see you guys back in the room. Check out myinvestingclub.co if you're a new trader, free webinar, or text Tosh. Go to our website. If you don't know the, the, the information, go to our website, myinvestingclub.com. Um, text is, the, the number to text Tosh is on there. Also, Instagram has tons of um, testimonies. You can check out as well. So see you back in the room, guys.